What's up everybody, Steve here. I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to talk about home builders, new construction, and what's going on because they are scrambling right now with the rising mortgage interest rates as well as quantitative tightening. Things are not looking so good for home builders. So let's dive into a couple articles and let's talk more about incentives and everything else going on. It goes on to say U.S. home builder confidence collapses in October against expectations of a small drop from 46 in September to 43 in October. The headline confidence index crashed to 38. That was worse than the weakest forecast of all economists surveyed. Now let's take a look at this article. Builders selling discounted homes to investors. Some builders are selling inventory in bulk to investors at an estimate 10 to 15% discount. Now I don't know who these investors necessarily are and if they are hedge funds or REITs or whatever the case is. I'm curious as to their debt position, if they have adjustable debt, if it's fixed debt, if it's all cash. But I think even at a 10 to 15% discount based on where I think real estate is going to go in the future in a lot of markets that have just exploded in value. I think that even in today's market at a 15% discount, these investors are probably going to be in an upside down position based on where they purchased and where the current valuation will be maybe in a year, two years from now. Even let's take a look over here at available homes from Lennar in Verdana Village. This is in Southwest Florida in the Estero area. If you take a look here, $30,000 incentives plus closing costs. And as you can see, every single one of these properties have been marked down. Now let's say that you guys bought a property comparable to this one right here at $647,000, say a few months ago and closed on it. Now the price is $617,000. This exact situation happened in, the, happened in the last real estate crash where people bought at the height in the same exact community and people later on purchased at a much less value of a home for that uh, for the identical property now if you guys bought a property in some of these communities you might be thinking wow you know what i am screwed because i'm completely upside down to where i bought and where today's valuation is however the good thing the saving grace for a lot of people who did close out say several months back is odds are you got into a good 30 year fixed interest rate mortgage, unlike people who are closing in today's day where we're approaching possibly seven half, maybe even 8%. So there is that caveat of getting into a good debt position on the property, even though you're pay, you possibly overpaid in whatever community that you purchased. Now let's go ahead and take a look at something else here. <clears throat> we got uh, Pulte, Del Webb, Devasta, and Centex. Uh, now through November 30th, let us take care of your monthly payment. Your next rent or mortgage payment, it's on the house. Pulte, Del Webb, Devasta, and Centex will credit to your new home purchase the cost of your monthly rent or, or mortgage payment, a value up to $12,500 for select quick move in home purchases that can close now through the end of December 2022. As mortgage rates continue to increase, I think we're going to see more and more of this because these builders cannot just hang on to these properties. They have to sell them. They have to deed it over to an end user or investor. So we're going to continue to see uh, more and more inventory like this come to market. So like I said, you know, if you guys are patient, waiting on the sidelines, maybe maybe you're even a cash buyer. If you're a cash buyer, you probably have <clears throat> more of a ability to hang on and wait things out. Now, if you guys are in the process or looking for new construction, I highly recommend when you go into these sales centers to be sure that you guys are negotiating. You know, this is the time where you guys are going to be asking for more. You're gonna see these signs plastered and the sales rep's gonna come out and say, great news, we got these incentives for you. We have, you know, uh, we're gonna pay for your closing costs. We're gonna give you upgraded kitchen counters and bathrooms and this and this. Oh, by the way, we're gonna reduce the price $50,000 on these select models as well. These other houses that are ready to go, we're gonna discount them this, this, this. So they're already showing their cards of incentives for you guys to purchase, but I can tell you, 
it is worth your time to go ahead and ask for more because you don't know what they have the ability to do. Many times the sales reps are gonna say, okay, let me see what I can do, and then they're gonna go to their manager and talk to their manager. Now, a little tip for you guys, don't be afraid to walk away. I, I, I can tell you this strategy works whether you're buying a car, a house, anything. Don't be afraid to walk away. So let's say the sales rep comes back and you guys are unable to get the deal that you guys wanted and say, you know what, I appreciate it. We're gonna go and look around at some other inventory and some other communities. Get up and walk out. Now that sales rep might just let you go out. They might stop you. They might get the manager involved to come over and sit down and talk to you further. And if you guys do leave, odds are that sales rep will be in touch with you maybe days or even weeks later trying to get you back into the office. And if you don't hear from them, it doesn't hurt to give them a call as well and just to see if there's any additional incentives or any additional movement on properties. Another thing too is any inventory that's sitting that mean, that's completed, that has CO'd, meaning certificate of occupancy, that house is sitting on their lot and it's ready to go and it's just sitting there. It's stale, it's stagnant. They do not, that's, that's the worst possible position to be in for a builder. They need that thing off their books. They need it gone. So odds are you will probably get a better deal on any sitting inventory as well. So when you go into the sales center, just ask to see what they have available that's ready to go. Go and take a look at them and then start negotiating any incentives and uh, any kind of price reductions off of that property. I hope this helped you guys out and uh, if you got value out of this, I appreciate a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you.